Hello children, it's Sam and today I've got a book called My Hair and it was written by Hannah Lee, she's the author, she wrote down the story and it's illustrated by Alan Fatamaran. The illustrator draws the beautiful pictures. Now I'm going to tell you the story of a little girl who's trying to decide what sort of hairstyle she wants for her birthday party. My birthday is coming up so soon. I'll need new clothes to wear. But most of all, I need to know how shall I style my hair. Let me do your hair, jokes Daddy. I'm getting better, I swear. Mummy rushes in the room. Daddy, don't you dare. Off we go to the hairdressers to get it done professionally. Hmm, as for what style I'll choose, you'll have to wait and see. Miss Dawn has lots of magazines, just so you can get a clue of the kind of hairstyle that you would like to do. Whilst I'm looking through them, my imagination starts to grow. I start to think of all the hairstyles I already know. Mummy has the most dazzling dreadlocks. Such a joy to see them swing. I like to practice plaiting them. It's my favourite thing. My sister likes to experiment. There's not a look that she won't try. Bantu knots, a high top fade, braids. She's not shy. My brothers both have cornrows with different shapes, patterns and lines. They love to show them off at school, yelling, come, see the latest designs. Daddy says, shave all over please, when he sits in the barber's chair. His beard is shiny, curly and full. That's where he likes his hair. Uncle has waves that are so smooth, swirling over his head. He keeps his hair brushed and neat. Don't forget the do-rag before bed. Auntie's hair is shaved real short, much like the head of a lioness. She's so cool, stylish and carefree. That's how she likes it best. Baby cousin is so small. She hasn't much hair yet. Already it's begun to grow. She'll have loads soon, you can bet. Grandma's hair is short and cropped. There are many curls of grey. She says she found one years ago and invited them all to stay. Grandpa wears turbans, tie heads and scarves. His hair tucked away from his face, for Grandpa has so much hair, that's how he keeps it in place. Time to look at my friends and what styles they wear. After all, I still don't know how I'll style my hair. Ryan will have plaits with bows. Her mummy can do them fast. Put a bonnet on, she says, to make the style last. Michael has a mohawk. Brandon, a short back and sides. They go to the barbers together and chat while the cutter glides. Nina is my best friend. What style, she asks with a pout. I want to try something new. Maybe a twist out. It's been 45 minutes, cries Miss Dawn. What will you do with your hair? Time to let Mummy decide. Don't you think that's fair? So Mummy whispers in my ear. And that's exactly when I know the hairstyle that I will wear will be my afro. I love my afro when it's out, so big, so great and free. My daddy says it is my crown. It defies gravity. A creation to which none could compare. I am so glad it's mine. I love my hair. And I guess at the moment, it's difficult to go to the hairdressers, 
So maybe you can try some new styles at home with your mummy and daddy. Bye children.